My name is Ken Weaver, artist, sculptor, builder, and splinter collector. I'd like to thank Art for Heaven's Sakes for inviting me to participate in their show. The first show was at Teresita Medical Group, and I only did metal sculpture at that time. In 1967, I went to the first Laguna <laughs> Sawdust Festival and was encouraged by a man named Ken Rains. I bought torches and I started welding and brazing and I loved it. In the early 90s, we had two kids. And at that point, I knew that they couldn't be in my shop with me. And we built birdhouses for the first time for Christmas gifts. I often find myself sitting on my patio where I can be creative, have some quiet time, and I surround myself with other things I built. And this is what it looks like. I have collected metal and wood from places overseas, Nebraska, Colorado, Arizona, and New Mexico, all parts of California. I love textures and patinas. I have built thousands of birdhouses. And I believe everybody has the ability to make or do something creative. So I'm going to encourage you to pick up a hammer, build a birdhouse, pick up a brush, paint, sing, try something because I know that you can do it. Everybody has a gift and a talent. Give it a try. Well, most of us have some kind of interesting shop. My shop consist of miscellaneous pieces of wood. So I will show you the chaos of my shop, but I love it. I have stacks and stacks of wood and miscellaneous pieces of wood from all over As we walk into my shop, you're going to be able to visually see that I have stuff I have collected from all over. And this is my work location. So these particular birdhouses here often have more than 100 pieces of wood. They all start out the same with this kind of piece of wood. And it has an opening in the bottom to allow a 4x4 four four post to go into. So this is where I start. So I'm gonna turn off my camera and I'll do a little bit of update as we go. Here is some wood that I have picked out I'm gonna use. But as you can see from these bird houses, there are lots and lots of pieces. Lots of color, lots of texture. Each side is different. However, each side flows to the next. So let me get started. So here's my first three pieces of wood. Again, this is the bottom. 
Okay, so here's my first side. This is my second side. Again, I'm moving with color and textures overlapping. And my desire is to make it interesting to look at, but keep the flow of your eye moving up. So I pulled out more wood miscellaneous pieces that I think will complement each other. So in my design, I start looking at wood and again textures. So I start cutting pieces of wood <clears throat> and pulling from my scrap pile. And I'm going, I really don't. This is okay, but it's not transferring up. This is really interesting, but it's too flat of a surface. So if I put something in there like that, and something in there like that, I have a whole lot more interest, but it'd be a whole lot more interesting if I did something like this. So often it is just a trial and error to get the look that you want. And perhaps this is not even the look. Perhaps the look is gonna be this one right here, which will make that's this side transfer into this side. Again, I'm picking out lots of pieces from my scrap pile. This one here, lots of leftovers. Over here, lots of leftovers. Down here, lots of leftovers. One of the other things that I do is when I am using a piece, let's say like this one right here, I have this piece left over. I will take this piece and put it up there on a table. And when I get to the other side, that piece will be used to tie it all together. Lots of fun. So this is the side I decided to finish. I don't always add everything I need. So this piece I will come back. So I came to the other side here now, which is the third side and I decided to add some color. The other thing I did is this cut is at an angle. And the reason I do that is again to push your eye up to this level here. I also sanded the edges on my belt sander to take off some of the color and to create this white edge to highlight it. I also did it on this one and this one. Um, I don't do it to all, but it does at the end, you will see how that kind of plays out. Okay, so I am going to use two more pieces of wood that I have already used. One is this piece of oak that I have to here. I'm going to overlap this corner to give it interest. I will cut, cut this off flush. Then this piece here is what I cut off this one here. And that is going to come back here to do a same size, same texture but driving up instead of going horizontal. So I have the other side in, the fourth side, which is very flat and plain. However, when I come back to put the small pieces on, it will look entirely different. Moving back to my other side, this is going to be, this is the top where the four by four post hits. This is going to be a step and actually I'm working on the first hole for the bird. I'm taking wood that I have already used. Again, I'm using angles and colors to get me where I want to go. I'm sorry. 
So it's going to look something like this. And then on the other side, I'm going to put a filler in because this wood probably won't show very much at all. Okay, so the other thing that I think is uh, important that is that you're always overlapping something else to give the top the strength for it not to fall apart. So nails also go in at angles. I'm uh, using three different nail guns now, so I don't have nails popping through. Um, so I am going to put these pieces in, get my first hole cut for uh, the platform. We'll be back. Okay, so I have moved my birdhouse to um, my stand that I can swivel so I can see all sides as I'm working on it. Um, I have dedicated the top of my birdhouse with these angles. Um, this was my boring side that I added the roof line to it. So this will be a floor and my roof line is coming up here. starting to take shape. Okay, so I have kind of moved towards the top and I will spin this. So this is one top and I'm getting ready for the roof. Um, so overall, I'll spin and back up. Once I get the roof on, then it will, um, I will start putting all the little bitty pieces to um, add detail to the places I want to travel your eyes. Well, I have the roof on and I must admit, I am coming to my favorite part, working on the birdhouse. And that is adding, adding all the gingerbread. So, for example, this will now go in here. This little piece will go in here and it just adds more color and direction that I want my eyes to trans move to. So another hour and I will probably be through. The other two sides. Uh, 
I like it. <laughs>